Hello, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Can I just finish my clip? I literally started recording right when Nathan hit stop. Um, welcome to the vlog. It is Friday afternoon. I am really excited. The first week of school is over. Um, we just got back from winter break. So, um, you know, it's like a big shocker. Like, oh my gosh, we're back and everything. So it's nice to have another weekend and be not at school again. Um, but yeah, it was a short week. It was a four day week, which was um, pretty nice. But next week's five days again. At least we're getting eased into it. Um, but yeah. So basically, um, oh shoot, okay, so yesterday I made two vlogs. Um, I have a ton of editing to do this weekend because I have one, hold for a sec, y'all. I got it. Hello? Sorry, that was from my mom. I don't know where I was talking, oh yeah. But I, yeah, I have a ton of editing to do this weekend. Today, the last video I have came out. Well, actually, I have one more video I can schedule for tomorrow, but that's the end of it. Um, after that, I have to edit the vlog, and it's not even a talking vlog. Um, it's a vlog where we went to 7-Eleven that I have to edit to come out on Sunday. Um, tomorrow, 7-10 is the last one. I just have to schedule it. But uh, Sunday and on. So I have to edit 7-Eleven first and as priority. Got to get that done. And hopefully get that out. And then the rest of them kind of talking. I just got a lot of intros, so we're good. Um, why did I get a lot of intros? Because Nathan's recording me. That actually used to be an intro, ironically. But um, I've been shooting some mammoth webcam shots. Um, I got a few live, most of them photo. Um, but Mammoth has been gorgeous. I got one really special one this morning. Like it was like 7:10 or something in the morning, and um, it was just the sun, huge like pink sky, sun rising um, from the McCoy cam looking out at Lincoln. So it was like you had you had Lincoln, and then you had um, gold, the top of Gold Rush, and then like kind of high five-ish area. Um, and it was just, and then but top was all sky. It was beautiful. It was so. It was really cool. It was really nice. Um, so that was, yeah, and then I just got a ton of different webcam shots from when it, it's been blizzarding, Mammoth is, I've literally, I've screenshotted the Mammoth forecast, cause like today was the one day, it was not a cloud in the sky today, it was like completely sunny, like literally so, it was so sunny, it was like, it was a great day, but for the next 10 days straight on that forecast, it's literally all snow, no rain, no sun, no clouds, it's literally all snow. KTLA said Mammoth is expecting 20 feet of snow. They already got seven of it from the storm that they had. But man, that means 13 more feet? That's a lot of snow. That's ridiculous. They've not updated their base yet. Um, let's, I'm gonna check that out. See what's going on around here. I, I mean, what? it's just, oh, it's so crazy. Um, look at that shot. Yeah, they're expecting more storms. 88 inch storm total. Absolutely insane. I just oh, couldn't even believe it. Anyways, um, where's the light? Can we get light? There we go. Um, so yeah, it's been great time for Mammoth. Um, but anyways, it's a Friday. I have more time. Um, less homework. <laughs> Wish I um, but I'm gonna do it all, you know, tomorrow and Sunday. Um, so I have a lot more time and everything, so I'm gonna, let's, let's do, like, a kind of throughout the next few hours vlog. Alright guys, so I didn't wind up doing any other vlog, uh, so, um, this in the next clip, um, it's like, yeah, I did, obviously I didn't film any, I did edit vlog 7-Eleven, which is good, um, I sorted out the rest of them, which is actually, like, a huge help for my brain, because before, like, a lot of, I just, like, record, I record a clip and then I'm like, I don't really know, I'll worry about all this later. I just have a ton of clips that I've recorded um, and they're just lying around um, and it's kind of like I don't know anything, it's just that huge unknown. So it actually really helps when I go into iMovie and I create each individual project and then every clip has its sort and then I like come out and then I use all the clips and then I have, then it's actually really reassuring for my brain to know that each clip all the clips 
actually have to reach individual spot then it's more like i can i can actually get it's not like clips it's like something i can grasp okay i have this many vlogs um i think i have let's see let's do some math right here four five vlogs four, five four or five vlogs um to edit which is really easy um so that that's nice um but it's just it helps so much to sort of my Remember when it was like, let's see, like yesterday when I said I'm probably going to start making a vlog and, and then I'm going to go back and do that thing that I just talked about where I organize stuff and I'm going to realize that I skipped the plane vlog. Well, that kind of happened today. This is vlog 718, but I actually haven't filmed 717, the video you watched yesterday yet. And was it today that I talked about yesterday's video? Well, I was just kidding, actually. Um, that's kind of funny. I promise. I 100% promise you. I was not trying to do that. I was not actually trying to screw up and um, miss 717. I literally, I thought I, I thought I had one more. I thought this one was um, going to be 616, and then I would film 717. So that like really caught me off guard. So that was interesting. Oreos are one of the best treats ever. They're so good. They're better than like anything else. Mm -mm. Pop tarts come close though. So there's pop tarts. Oh, these look so good. Just this box. It's gonna be good. But man, Oreos, guys. If you don't own Oreos, you should get some. I should frame an Oreo on my wall. <laughs> That's a horrible idea. Because the Oreos are so delicious. On my house when I grow up, we're going to have Oreos on stock all the time. There's going to be like, if you like, like I'm going to wake up in the, at like 2 in the morning. And you can go like, oh, I just want an Oreo. And then I'll go back to bed. I'll have the last one. I'll be like, you know what? Got to do what you got to do. I will totally drive to whatever 24-hour Walmart in the middle of the night. And go get me some Oreos. I mean, it's so important. It is so important to make sure you have Oreos. So good. Could eat just all day. I still have this paper here where I wrote down December 31st, 2016 on camera. It was New Year's Eve night. It was like 11.30 or something. And I was like, wow, 2016. It's just, oh, I remember writing it off. And it's still super weird. I'm not dating too much stuff in school. I didn't date too much stuff in school this week. Um, started to come back. But normally in math, we just, we I write the date on every single assignment. Um, so it was like really, really weird. Um, the, especially the first few times. My hand is so used to, like, I know I have a lot of numbers to write, so I instantly, like, you know, you're in a month for a while, so I, 12, instantly comes out, date 12 slash, and then by the time I've done, I'm done, by the time I've written the 1 and the 2 and the slash, I've already figured out the date, right? So, like, that's, like, my instant go-to. It always throws me off in the beginning of the month, like, when, if it's, if I've been writing an 11 slash, and then all of a sudden it's 12, that one throws me off, but this one is so weird because it's not like it's not like getting bigger like and I, I used to write 12 slot now it's like one it's so weird like and like it's there's such a short period of time there's only the first nine days of the month i just held up a five first nine days of the month where it's only single digit and then you know it's double digit so i'm expecting like 12 double digit month and then double digit and it's weird it's like slash that means one for january and then slash and then five and then 17 wow i'm already done writing the date that was weird it's just really awkward encounter um the entire date writing process um, yeah anyways fun dates are fun anyways it's so weird because i just said anyways like five times in a row my apologies when I was a kid, it's kind of funny, um, I literally never knew the date ever, and it's so weird to, th like, to, when I, like, now that I'm noticing how gradually, as my middle school career went on, um, I slowly 
learned, I slowly became more and more aware of the date every single day. Um, and now, like, I know, like, I remember, I watched, I watched a video not too long ago, but it was, like, it's one of the ones where, like, you film it, and then you edit it, and then normally it's gone, but then I watch it later, so it's, like, part of my memory now, um, and, but it was, like, beginning of the summer, I'm, like, wow, I literally know the week of every single, I literally know the date of every single week of the summer, and if you tell me a day, I would, like, be able to know, like, exactly where it is in summer, because I've memorized it, and I'm, like, out, like, in my mind, that was crazy, but now, like, it's, it's just so normal, because in high school, I just get so many dates thrown around me all day, that I just, I just know every, I know the beginning, um, day of the week for every single week going out pretty far, because there's always stuff getting scheduled pretty far out, um, good month out or something so it was really weird having having like having that and it was like i never thought about that how i just i always knew the weeks coming up um and i never had to think about it but now it's like and then winter break like i didn't have to think like winter just all my dates stopped at winter break because i wasn't thinking about 2017 at all i was just like christmas new year's christmas new year's christmas new year's christmas new year's this week you know and then, like, all of a sudden, 2017, I'm, like, these dates are being thrown around. Like, I keep hearing, like, the 12th and the 13th. I'm, like, what day is that? Like, I, I can't, I don't really know the weeks right now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, so, just all these numbers, and I still have to get these weeks down. I can tell you all the weekends, but not, um, I think I, I know starting from final, I know finals week, that week, and then, yeah. So yeah, anyways, still learning. Growing up is not so tough. <sighs> Just, okay, I'm gonna recite to you this poem I heard from a wise poet written in 1903. Growing up is not, I can't even do this. That's but I can't even do jokes on camera. Come on, guys. Growing up is not so tough. Just when you've had enough, there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou, Caillou, Caillou. Each day I grow some more. I forgot the rest of the lyrics, but it rhymes with or. Anyways, I my speaker's been on for the past 11 years. Holy mother of kill. These are like one year old, but I mean, it's been on for the past few weeks. Yikes. Tomorrow's Saturday. Let's have fun. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Dislike. I want to share your opinion in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye, bye, bye.